1936, um, the situation becomes uh, so uh, grave, so un untenable that the Arabs explode uh, in, in a national, uh, in a, in a Palestinian Arab, Arab, Arab revolt, 1936, which the British will suppress in, in blood. Uh, but, of course, the London realizes that something has to be done because uh, they cannot control the situation anymore. Uh, the injustice has been too great to the Arabs. And so they propose a new partition, the 1939 White Paper which somehow uh, is more favorable, more just to the Arabs. But at that point, the Arabs reject it. Reject it uh, and for good reasons, because in the 1939 uh, White Paper, uh, there is absolutely no mention of a Palestinian self-determination, of a Palestinian nation. And the Arabs have been, have been betrayed by the British before, so they did not trust them. But uh, also, uh, as you understand by the date itself, 1939, major events are happening in Europe. The, uh, World War II is, is starting. The, in, in Germany, uh, uh, the Nazi persecution of the Jews is, 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 in, uh, is underway and is much more serious than anything ever seen before, any persecution ever seen before. So the Jews tend to obviously flock uh, out of Europe into Palestine, desperately so, uh, and rightly so, uh, um, and the British realized that they cannot put a stop to it anyway. Uh, so, uh, you know, at, at this point, the situation for the Brits become uh, even more serious than before, and they start considering very seriously to withdraw from Palestine. Uh, but be careful, because uh, we are talking about a period, uh, the 30s, the 1930s, in which uh, the, 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 the Zionists in Palestine had been, had been very, very busy organizing. They organized themselves in, in, in a proper army trained by the British. The proper army was called the Haganah. And they also organized themselves um, in some sort of a, a secret service uh, uh, situation. And um, a guy called Josef Weitz uh, in those days um, drew a list of Palestinian villages called the Village Files. Uh, in the 30s, this man and his aides uh, drew a, a very detailed, a very thorough list of Palestinian villages with all the inhabitants that were in them, the, 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 the chiefs, the, the tribal leaders, the muftis and everything, you know, in order to provide the Zionists uh, with a blueprint for the expulsion of the Palestinians, as we will see in, in a minute. That was a very infamous thing to do, uh, particularly be, 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 because it came before uh, something equally, if not more, infamous that the, Nazi, uh, in, the Nazis in Germany uh, uh, would do in the 40s. The, 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 the notorious Wanzi uh, protocols, where the Nazi uh, detailed the presence of the Jews in Europe city by city, group by group, very carefully. So the, the, the Zionists had done basically the same uh, before even the Nazis did. And, uh, uh, and this was, you know, in order to uh, be more efficient for the expulsion of the Palestinians uh, from, from, uh, um, from Palestine. The, the existence of the village files has been revealed to the world by uh, the author and historian, Jewish-Israeli author and historian, Ilan Pape, in his latest book, the ethnic cleansing of Palestine, which I recommend because uh, it contains uh, a, a very, very solid piece of research on, on the events we are talking about, uh, particularly we are talking about today. Now, uh, so the, the, the Jews have been organizing in, 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 in an army, and the Haganah, but also in, in paramilitary groups, uh, which become very central at this point of, the, uh, of, this, of this narrative, because uh, uh, they would act in, in, in a terrorist manner throughout the, 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 the 30s and 40s uh, in order to complete the project of ethnic cleansing of the Palestinians, but also in order to attack the British themselves. Uh, these groups were the Irgun, and after the Irgo, Irgun, the Stern group, and after the Stern group, the Palmach group. Uh, Irgun, Stern, a Palmach were the main uh, terrorist groups uh, formed by the Zionists in those days. And as I said, they started attacking both uh, the Arabs and the um, 
the, uh, the British. Why? Because the British who had helped the Zionists a great deal were being considered by uh, the Zionists at that point as a colonial power. They had to go away, they had to leave Palestine because the, 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 the Zionists wanted Palestine for themselves. And so they started attacking the, 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 Brit the British as well as the Arabs. And, and let me remind you of the major uh, terrorist uh, outrages that the Zionist terrorist groups uh, carried out against the British in those days. Uh, in uh, 1944, uh, they killed Lord Moyne, the, 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 British, uh, the British minister for, for, um, uh, for the Middle East. They killed him in Cairo. They assassinated a British minister. Uh, in 1946, the Irgun, led by, led by, uh, led by Menachem Begin, who will become prime minister in Israel, uh, blew up a, a, a portion of the, uh, the, the British headquarters in, in, uh, in uh, Jerusalem, uh, the King David Hotel. And, and they killed 90 people. And there were and there were kid kidnappings of British officers who would be executed, uh, tortured, uh, uh, terrorism on on a large scale, bombs against uh, British uh, uh, premises, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, <coughs> it, it became so it became so serious. Uh, um, the Jewish. Um, terrorist against the British that uh, Winston Churchill, the Prime Minister, uh, that everybody knows, a historical figure, um, in, a, a, in, in, in this period uh, he uh, stated, and I quote, a very controversial uh, statement, and I quote, if our dreams for Zionism are to end in the smoke of an assassin's pistol, and the labors for its future produce a new set of gangsters worthy of Nazi Germany, then many like myself will have to reconsider the position we have maintained so consistently and so long in the past. Even Churchill himself speaks of gangsters worthy of Nazi Germany uh, 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 addressing uh, Zionist terrorism. Uh, the quote is from the UN British Government Survey of Palestine, Volume 1. However, in this period, uh, as you know, the, uh, the Holocaust in Europe is, in, is, is uh, fully underway and, uh, uh, of course, you know, the British uh, at this point realize that they cannot stop uh, the desperate flood of um, uh, emigration uh, from Europe uh, by the Jews from, from Europe into Palestine. So in 1947, uh, they give up the, uh, the mandate. Uh, and they um, they will stay in Palestine until 1948, but they uh, they decide to leave. Um, but but you got to be aware of one uh, data, uh, one uh, very important, very crucial piece of information. Now, uh, by this time, uh, uh, by April 1948. Uh, the, the, the Jewish gangs and, and the Jewish army, the Haganah, uh, even before the start of the 1948 war uh, with the Arab states uh, for, uh, that uh, determined then the creation of the State of Israel, even before that, uh, already the Jewish army and the Jewish gangs had managed to expel, to ethnically cleanse 250,000 Palestinians from their villages, uprooting them, killing them, massacres, burning down the villages, uh, using large-scale terror uh, against the, the Arabs in order to expel them. This is very important to remember uh, because uh, then the war will come and during the war even more expulsions were carried out. Uh, the, um, the current narrative uh, will, the, the current narrative uh, will uh, try and tell you at this point that yes, okay, uh, you know, violence was going on, but in the end, it's been it's been the Arabs' fault because they um, were given an opportunity by the United Nations in 1947 to partition Palestine, and they refused it. The famous uh, partition plan uh, for Palestine, UN Resolution 181 of uh, 29th of November. Uh, 29th of November 1947. Um, so the Arabs refused it and they missed a huge opportunity to have peace. Uh, this is what the current narrati narrative will tell you and it's a lie. It's one of the 
the big uh, lies that characterizes uh, the narrative about the uh, Israeli, uh, the Zionist and Israeli conquest of Palestine. Um, the, the, the resolution, the partition resolution was a ripoff. Uh, nothing less than a ripoff. It was a ripoff because it was so unfair to the Arabs that they could not uh, have accepted it. Uh, let me tell you that uh, the Jews, uh, who were a minority, less than 30% of the population uh, in, in 1947, were given 56% of the land. Uh, the Arabs, who were the great majority, were given only 42% of, of the land. And that was illogical and unfair. The Negev uh, was given to the Jews, with a population of 90,000 Arab Bedouins and 600 Jews. Uh, the best port and commerce is, is so vital to an economy, everybody understands. The best port, Haifa, was given to the Jews. Uh, almost all the fertile land was given to the Jews. 80% uh, of the land uh, cultivated with wheat wheat is very important, 80% of the land cultivated with wheat was given to the Jews. Uh, the, the Palestinians would lose the, the continuity, the, the land continuity with Syria. They had it for centuries and they would lose it. Jerusalem would be internationalized. So uh, the Arabs rejected this deal that was so clearly uh, unfair. And uh, it has to be said that Ben Gurion too, if, if one reads his diaries, uh, Ben Gurion too uh, signaled that he would not accept a deal like that because, of course, the, the Zionist plan was for the whole of Palestine. We we have seen from the very beginning uh, of the story. Let me quote uh, historically the last British High Commissioner in Palestine, Lord Alan Cunningham, who in 1948 speaks to Ben Gurion, and uh, and this is in, in in the British public records, and he says um, to Ben Gurion, well, you know, uh, I I can see that the Arabs are trying to uh, uh, contain the situation, but you know, the Haganah, your army, is trying everything it can to escalate the violence. Um, the, the, the Jewish terror became so, uh, um, so evident, uh, so undeniable, that it even reached America. Uh, the news reached America and, and it reached a number of, of uh, uh, Jewish, very prominent, very authoritative uh, figures like Albert Einstein, like Anna Arendt, uh, and, and in the United States in 1948 already, uh, Albert Einstein and, Ar and Anna Arendt signed a wrote and signed a letter that they published in the New York Times, uh, from which I quote literally. Among the most disturbing political phenomena of our times is the emergence in the newly created State of Israel of the Freedom Party led by Menachem Begin, a political party closely akin in its organization, methods, political philosophy, and social appeal to the Nazi and fascist parties. The New York Times, book section, uh, page 12, December 4th, 1948. Um, and then another very prominent, and uh, let, let me remind you that Menachem Begin was also the leader of the terrorist gang, the Irgun, um, which Einstein and, and Arendt uh, 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 compare with Nazi and fascist parties. Uh, another prominent Jews of those days was one of the first ministers in, in the first uh, government of the newly created State of Israel, Aaron Chisling, who in 1948 uh, said, and I quote, now Jews too have behaved like Nazis and my entire being is shaken. Minutes of Israeli cabinet meeting, 17th of November 1948, Kibbutz Meohad Archive, section 9. Um, so what happened? What was happening that, you know, uh, these terrorist gangs, Jewish terrorist gangs were so uh, uh, notorious that were, they were being openly called Nazi uh, by Jews themselves, prominent Jews themselves. Well, uh, Ilan Pape, which I mentioned before, has disclosed in his latest book that uh, Ben Gurion, uh, who was the central figure of the Zionist uh, movement in those days uh, and will become the uh, absolute leader, uh, Ben Gurion had put together a group of men, uh, a cabal of uh, men, amongst which Itzak Rabin, who will be become prime minister later, Itzak Pundak, Moshe Dayan, Moshe Carmel, uh, Igal Alon, Igal Yadin, 
and Yosefites uh, and others, that he put, to, put together this group of people who drew a plan, drew out a plan for the uh, uh, ethnic cleansing of Palestine to be carried out with violent and terroristic uh, methods. The plan was called Plan D, Dalet in Hebrew.